Hello, I'm David Pagan Butler. Now, I've been asked the question, is it possible to have a separate swimming zone from the planted zone in an organic pool? Now, an organic pool normally has the planted zone all the way around the outside and the swim zone in the middle. Uh, this greatly simplifies the construction and also makes it really beneficial for wildlife. However, there may be circumstances where having a separate swim zone from the planted zone is really beneficial so I've mocked up a situation here um, where this tank is representing the swim zone and this one the planted zone and we've got the water circulating between the two just with the use of airlift pumps or bubble pumps now the swim zone, what's happening is uh, water's being drawn in from the planted zone via a pipe down there uh, and this is filling up to a particular level and when that reaches a level of the exit drain, water then drains into the uh, planted zone and this circulation is what is filtering the water. Now in the planted zone I've represented uh, the, uh, the plants with um, plants but here you see I've used little floating islands of plants um, the more wild looking one is um, just lifted off a, uh, a paving slab that was around the edge of the pool and the plants have been growing on that nice and neatly and I've just put a piece of wood underneath just to give it a bit of buoyancy and it's those plants have been sitting there quite happily for a week now and this other one this high-tech one I've got some insulation offcuts from a DIY project. I've drilled in a three inch hole and pushed in some plants. This is mint. So this is, is actually one valid method of uh, using plants to filter water. So this is probably the simplest method to show how you can separate the planted zone from the swim zone. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this little film and see you next time.